All right, this is a particular kind of problem that I call a guess and check problem, and we're going to make a chart. We're going to build a chart for this to figure out our answer. And uh, you're going to see these problems every once in a while, so see if you can recognize the pattern here. Marco sold 13 tickets to a show. This gives us our first clue here, 13 tickets to a show. Adult tickets sold for $9. So we have adult tickets, $9, and student tickets sold for $5. Different kinds of tickets there. We have two different kinds of tickets. And then he collected $93. We've got a lot of different clues going on here. How many adult tickets did he sell? So what I want to do is set up two different multiplication problems, one on top of the other. So he sold 13 tickets. We have adult tickets. That's going to be a certain number of adult tickets. And they're going to sell for $9 each. So I'm going to take the adult tickets and multiply it by 9. And that's going to give me a certain amount of money that he made on adult tickets. And then he's going to sell some student tickets. And those are going to sell for $5 each, right? Here it is, $5 each. And that's going to give a certain amount of money total for the student tickets. Now, your adult tickets and your student tickets must add up to 13. So I'm going to put a 13 down here because that's the total of those two. And then the uh, money amount has to come out to be $93. Now, you should set up your problem to look exactly like this. I'm going to put a T there for tickets. Two multiplication problems. The number 13, the total number of tickets sold comes down here. The total amount of money comes down here. These two numbers have to add to 13. These two numbers have to add to 93. The next thing I'm going to do is just guess what numbers might go in here and see if it works out adding up to 93. The two numbers that I pick have to add up to 13. So let's just start with, say, 8 here and 5 here. Okay. So in my head, I do 8 times 9, that's 72. And then if I do 5 here, because 8 plus 5 is 13, 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, and when I add these together, that comes out to be 97. 97 is too much money. He only makes 93. So I'm going to guess a different combination, and I know I need to have less money. So if I want less money, I've got to have more of these $5 tickets and less of the expensive tickets. You see, the more $5 tickets that I sell, the less money I'm going to make. I want to sell a lot of those $9 tickets if I'm going to make a lot of money. So I'm going to go with the number 06 on this one. Let's try that. And 6 plus 7 is 13. Okay, I'm just doing this in my head. 7 times 9 is 63. And then 6 times 5 is 30. All right, 63 plus 30. Hey, that's 93. So I know my answer is 7 here, 6 here. 7 times 9 is 63. 6 times 5 is 30. 63 plus 30 equals 93. The question then says how many adult tickets? The answer is right there. 7 adult tickets is my answer. 